Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new series of a game called Unexplored. Just came out probably today, I think. And I know what you're thinking, if you've watched any of my other videos, you're probably thinking, how does this guy afford to buy all these brand new games? Well, I don't. Let me tell you, I do not have the money to pay for all these games. But I have a friend who honestly also doesn't have the money to do this, but he does it anyway. He's got very bad spending habits, let's just leave it at that. But we share our library on Steam, so I am able to benefit from his uh, terrible addiction to buying video games. It's a sweet deal on my part. Um, pretty pretty terrible on his, because I don't even think he plays most of them. That's, uh, that's neither here nor there, though. So, we've got this game Unexplored, which is a self-described by the, uh, the people who made it as a rogue light game. Um, I used to not really like that title, but it... It works. I mean, at least it, you know, that genre, at least it shows, it tells you that it's not a roguelike, you know, it's just got permadeath. Even though this one is a lot more similar to many roguelikes than most games that call themselves roguelites or whatever. Um, I played the tutorial, but that's all I've done. I definitely don't want to do casual because I'm not a fucking casual. Challenging sounds, probably what we want to do. More gold, much gold, less gold. So you get bonus stuff? I'm gonna do hard. I mean, that might be terrible. Especially, I mean, like, this game isn't a roguelike, but I've played a lot of roguelikes, and I've never beaten one of them ever. So if this one has, like, a similar difficulty curve, um, we might not be giving ourselves much, much of a chance on hard. But on the other hand, uh, I mean, we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Extra puzzles seems fine, yeah, and rewards. Extra bosses... I guess we'll keep extra bosses off, but extra puzzles is on by default, so we'll keep that. Oh, wait, was there something... That's no, just seed. Not random is fine. Walking into the tavern, you quickly spot an old man you've been told to find. He recognizes you as a young adventurer and starts talking right away. Welcome, young, young rascal. So you're off on an adventure to explore the dungeons of doom in search of the fabled amul amulet of Yendor. Isn't that what it's called in other roguelike games? Well, I mean, this isn't a roguelike, but like other... I think in Stone Soup, it's called that, the thing you have to get. Are you clever enough to solve all the puzzles? Are you hardy enough to slay all the monsters? Are you so yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Yeoman. Now, I don't know. Sometimes I, when I play roguelike games, I change the name every time. You know, because you die a lot. I don't know if we'll do that. Um, what the heck am I supposed to be? I guess... The, uh, that one. I size. Uh... I don't care about most of this. Can, can I say that? It's just, um, whatever. Nose size. Uh. Uh. Um. What? I. Cape. Okay, the cape actually. No, I don't. I'm. Default, basically, is fine. It looks too weird to, for me to actually care. You owe me an A. I'll try to remember that, just in case you really make a name for yourself. Not a business. We're going to spare some coin to wet my throat a little. Do a thing. Okay. So I've got 20. I could buy beers for the... Oh, that's interesting. This is my equipment. Oh, so I start out with all this stuff. I might as well buy him a beer. Yeah. Plenty of puzzles in the Dungeon of Doom. Make sure what you are doing before... Make sure what you are doing before meddling with them. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Make a mistake and you can say goodbye to whatever prize is waiting for you. That is, if you're lucky. Uh, do I have anything else to spend my money on? I see that you're ready and impatient to be on your way. Don't let me keep you then. Let me show you the entrance. Take this path through the jungle to the south of the village. Find the clearing between the highest trees you've ever seen. Between the roots, the biggest of them, you'll find a lush, verdant path leading down into the earth. Follow that and you're in. Happy treasure hunting and good luck. I think you'll need it. Alright, so yeah. Like I said, I have played just the tutorial of this, and it's interesting. The whole thing is randomly generated, and it... Larwell Hell. What is Larwell Hell? Oh, don't, don't throw that. Have I forgotten the controls already? Is there any way to mess with that? Move, pause, look. No. So I can't, like, uh... Okay, Larwell Hell. Good to know. Anyway, yeah, this game is kind of... I mean, it's definitely got a lot of themes in common with the roguelike games. Um, it, it sort of acts like one um, in a lot of ways. But it's not... You know, it's more of an action uh, game. And 
enemies don't move at the same time as you. That's sort of like a big part of uh, roguelike games, and that's not the case. See, like if I stop, he'll keep moving. In a roguelike, he would he would not keep moving. Do these guys just keep respawning? Okay, what were those even? Like little urchin? Oh, spiders. Okay. Um, right. So I have no experience with this game. I don't know what I'm messing with. Also, yeah. What's flint and steel do? Okay. Torch rations. Um, I don't need any of those. These potions, we don't know what they do. Are these enemies? Indestructible. Okay, okay, they're little turret things. Um, let's see if we can get in here. No, it needs a key. Oh, ow. Okay, so yeah, um, we've got a sword we started out with. We've also got a dagger, which we can throw with right click. Which is actually pretty useful, because getting close is uh, a little dangerous. And the fact that you can just pick the dagger back up is great. Also, you can throw these potions, and that'll give us an idea of what they do. Didn't do anything, and they didn't even notice us. Well, let's throw one of these. Also did nothing. So we have no idea what that potion might be. Oh, okay, this guy's a little tough. Oh. Okay, we got this. This this is honestly kind of making me want to play some, uh, like, actual roguelikes. What are, what are these supposed to be? Oh, just lights? Okay. Yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's been a while since I played Roguelike. This makes me want to play, uh, Stone Soup, actually, a little bit. I might do that at some point. What does the sub shovel do? How do you... There's a way to, like, look at your stuff. Is it double-click? No, that's equip. Oh, just right-click. Equip a shovel in one of your hands, and you'll be able to dig. Just swing your shov shovel at heaps of sand or ore. You can also... It does five crushing damage. What about my short sword? Does seven piercing damage. Oh, no, wait. Five piercing damage. Oh, wait. It deals five. However, by clicking the mouse button, you'll lunge. Oh, so it deals damage even if you don't click? You just kind of swing it at him? That's weird. Huh. I might have to try that out. Oh, it does, too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's why when I'm done with it, I can use my offhand. Okay. Another dagger. That could come in handy. Let's flip this lever and see what it does. Yeah, I've heard that this game, like I said, I've only played the tutorial, and I, but I did read a few reviews, because, I don't know, it's interesting. Oh, we've got the map up here, right. And it seems like people are saying it's, it, it is challenging, but it starts out pretty fair. Like, it doesn't, uh, it's not just difficult for the point of being difficult. What are we, what are we trying to, oh, there's a door right here, okay. I was going to say, it looks like we've run out of things to explore, but. What is that? Um, okay. Another lever. And there's a way down. It seems to be everything, so yeah, second floor. That was easy. Yeah, descend. The treacherous catacombs of the ancients. Got an achievement for that one. Okay, pretty easy so far. For sure. But I don't think it'll stay that way. Yeah, I like this kind of game because it's a lot about, um... Risk and reward, resource management, knowing what you've got going on. Okay. Okay, he can block that? Let's get rid of the spider. Oh, jeez. Okay, he hits hard. I'm I'm getting out of here. That's another thing about these kind of games. Um, you need to know when to run away. Um, these guys are going to shoot at me. I'm just going to run past them. Now, our health is pretty low... Pray for help. My sword demands your virtue. You offer prayer, nothing seems to happen. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're kind of low on health. Oh, we have healing potions. I was going to say we might risk this one, but we have actual healing potions. So we should just use that. Okay. Maybe it was a little early to use it, but I'm f I feel a little safer now. Still don't know what this thing is. Yeah. I could throw two daggers at once now because of this. Oh, these barrels can have things in them. Check the unopened ones. Flip this switch. Oh, turret deactivated. Cool. Flip this switch. Door opened. Is that what the two means? Whoa, whoa! What is what is that? Door closed. No, you can keep that open. Up here. Oh! Chest. Skill stone. Now. You have no item that can be upgraded. Huh. Upgrades. I didn't expect that. So that turret's off. 
Let's head over here. Oh, it's barred. Doesn't budge. Can't break it down or something. Whoa, I was hiding. Huh. Does that just happen when you, like, stand in the... Oh, yeah. If you stand anywhere, does that happen? No, just up against the wall. Okay, we haven't been up here yet. Let's see what we've got. Another switch. Which opened this door. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, no. Okay, I think we've got this. Oh, wow! That was easier than I thought it would be. And we got some stuff. What is this? The rest of our inventory that we don't want, like, readily available? In which case, I'll put the shovel away. Don't need a flask. Having the second dagger is definitely good. Put away the skill stone because I can't use it yet. What's this helmet like? 25% chance to stop two damage. Takes eight strength to wear. What's my strength? Character sheet. 12. And zero and everything else. Okay. Well, let's equip that. Um, here? Yeah. I've also got a spear. Oh, let's check it out. 10 piercing damage. Should an opponent run into you, it only does three. Okay, so the actual clicking attack does 10, but the just sort of like swiping attack like you get with a sword only does three. It still seems a lot better. And a shield that stops six damage. It stops less damage, but it's also slightly faster. If I equip that, I won't be able to throw daggers anymore, which I like. But we still have, we'll still be able to keep some distance because of the spear. Oh, nice. I love it when games uh, actually show what you've got on. I mean, it's a minor thing. But it's the minor things that count. That's what adds to a game. Um, we haven't been over here. You need a key to get in there, though. Hmm. Let's check it out. I don't know what these diamonds are still. Maybe the shovel. Uh, I should probably have that here, just in case. Equip the shovel. Nope. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, yeah, let's see if we can't get over here. It's still barred. Well, where to next, then? Oh, wait! Oh, this... Oh, that's barred, too. Okay, I don't like that. Okay. Oh, easy. Oh, we haven't been here. Oh, and that's where the exit is. And that might have opened the door over there. Oh, what's that? A blank scroll? Is that what that is? Scroll is waiting for you to copy another magic spell on its surface. Okay, let's store that. Nothing on that shelf. Here we've got a scroll, maybe? Magic desk copy. You can use this desk to copy magic scrolls. Place a blank scroll in the scroll you want to copy and press copy. Well, I don't have any scrolls, or else I would do that. Oh, here we go. Garliol Awitra. Oh, a book. That's nice. The notes on this piece of paper are clearly someone's notes on scroll of identify. You can now easily identify all scrolls of this kind. Copy to journal. What does that mean? Journal. I saw journal earlier. Journal. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I guess I don't need the book. I just need to copy it down. Okay, so this isn't a scroll of an Id identify. We know that. Whatever it is, I'm going to copy it down. If I used it, I wouldn't be able to copy it. So, let's copy. Now we've got two Garlio Garliol Awistras, uh scrolls. And let's use one of them. It was a remove curse spell, but nothing changed because I don't have any curses. But that is super useful to have. Let's store that away for now, but now if we get any curses, we'll be able to get rid of them. What are these bones or something? Oh, whoa! Snake thing. Okay, it's a little tough. Okay, um, let's look around to see if there's anything worthwhile in here. That closed the door. Is that the door out? Oh, chalice and oil. That was the door out. This chalice is worth 20 gold pieces should you return to the surface with it. Oh. Cool. Okay. Um, ah, this guy it doesn't seem too hard as long as you just, I mean, he's slow. You see this? Oh, you can only hit his face. Okay, the spear takes a while to reload, though, to be able to use it again. But it's not that bad. Um... I just don't want to find out what that potion does. Let's throw one more, just in case. It... Nope, doesn't do anything. Now this is this is easy. We're playing on hard too. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Easy. Oh, we didn't get anything for it? Oh, that was just a waste. Waste of time. I should have just left. Okay. Oh, we do get EXP, though, right? That is a thing. Character sheet. Mm, we get skills somehow, but it doesn't actually say if we get uh, anything else. I just want to check that. doesn't say if we get EXP. Take you to the Everground. Hmm, sure. Sounds cool. We're doing pretty darn well. Oh, nice. More rations. Uh, do we have hunger somewhere? What do rations do? Oh, I didn't want to eat them. Wrong button. Stain you during your stay. It'll restore 10 hit points. This ten takes 10 seconds. Okay, so I wasted um, a bunch of healing. Okay, flask. Remove curse. Okay, another one. That's always good. Because that gives us a little leeway. If we find any new items, we can just equip them and not worry about it. Which is basically what I did with these new ones. I didn't even think about it. But that's because I didn't know if this game had curses or not. Considering the style of the game, I should have assumed. But, you know, it was better stuff. So, of course, I'm going to put it on. Even if it was cursed, it might have been better. You know? A lot of games are like that. Uh, pick that up. Another one of those potions. If something's going badly, I'll have to... Um, I'll have to drink one of those just to see what it does. You know? Because... I'll just do it now. I want to know. Invisibility. Ooh. And we got... I got a achievement for that. Visibility. Interesting. Yeah, these guys can't see me. How long does that last? These are turning off the turrets. Nice. Okay, the invisibility worked perfectly. We got healing and a lockpick. Well, a lockpick we should probably keep on hand. Let's stow away the chalice. We don't need that. Okay, some spiders that can't see me. Look, I just killed his buddy and he still doesn't even know. How long does this invisibility... Oh, here it is. Quite a while. Wow. Okay, so these potions are amazing. The fact that we got those is just great. These things are freaking me out. I'm hoping that it's not just because they can't see me, that they aren't doing something, and that they're just statues, you know? But I don't know. Okay, these guys haven't even noticed me yet. Let's turn off that turret and then kill... Oh, right, because I was still invisible, but now I'm not. And these things still aren't doing anything, which is a good sign. Let's switch out for... Flint, maybe? What does this do? Use it to start a fire. Uh, that seems like it could actually be useful having it on hand. Let's put away our dagger. We don't need that. Locked. Um, that's locked. That's locked. That sure seems like everything. We're doing real well. I mean, like, is it supposed to be this easy? I was kind of expecting, like, a roguelike style difficulty. Might be harmful. Mo in most games, um... Might is spelled wrong. Also harmful. Um, in most games... Most roguelike games, most of the, the scrolls aren't that bad. The worst one I can think of is... Is it in... Stone Soup, I think? There's, a There's one that, like, lights you on fire or something. But that's, like, the only bad one. You can transfer the magic properties of sigils and rings to suitable weapons. I don't have any sigils and rings, but that's something to keep in mind. Oh, what's out here? Uh, nothing in particular. Okay. What about over here? What is that? What is that? Is that a bat? I think it's supposed to be a bat. Hmm. So those are coming up. Okay, an archer. Uh, we don't have any ranged weapons. Ah, uh, but he's a dumb, dumb guy. Nice, okay. Um, bow and arrow, do we want to try that out? I think we do. Yeah, this seems good to me. Yes, okay, I love it. Yes, cool. What is it? Ooh, wait a minute. Really? That's not anything? Okay. Um, let's get our spear and shield back equipped because I we don't have a whole lot of arrows. Is there anything we don't need on us right now? I guess that. And oil could be useful. Flint I haven't found any use for yet. Well, 
I haven't found use for torch either. A flint probably... I don't know. We can grab a torch out if we need it. Um, this unidentified thing... What am I looking for? Bone arrow. Right, right. Lost my train of thought there for a second. I'm kind of liking this so far, except that it's uh, too easy. But maybe I'm just good. It's possible. Is everything locked? I've got a lockpick. I guess I have to use it. Oh wait, there's a door up here. Oh yeah, I would have missed it. Um, let's uh, let's save our lockpick until we're like done with the level, because we might just pick up a key. Oh whoa, that guy jumped over me. Come at me. Oh. Ha, easy. Hardly taking any damage. You know what I mean? I need to throw that potion at someone. Turn off a turret. Good. These are all locked. Still don't have a key. Whoa. There's another lockpick. Oh, jeez, what was that? It's a trap. Marble pentac... What? Circle? I didn't know there were traps. Diamond? What is this? Huh. Not I could have turned off that turret earlier. Another lockpick. Perfect. That door isn't locked, it's just barred. So is that one. Uh, that's the way down, which means... Okay, it's a good thing we didn't try to unlock that. Because that would have been worthless. But over here... Oh, oh man. Okay, we haven't been through here yet. See if there's anything worthwhile. Oh wait, have we been through here? We've been. In, oh no, no, no. We've just looked through there before. Okay, spiders. Fine. I'm assuming that this is worthwhile. You would think it is. There's something, you know, some good items we might find. Experience to get from killing guys, if that's a thing. Uh, no, there was nothing worthwhile here though, unless. Is there a secret door? No. Too bad. Made sense to me. I was thinking, maybe there's a secret door right... No, there's an opening there? Is that what that is? No, I don't see. I don't think it's a secret door. Oh, wait. Let's... No, okay, yeah, go up. Yeah, we should probably get in there with our, where those bats are. Going here, that's worthless because I can just go around. So no reason to waste a lockpick on that. But right here, this is worth trying. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, an ambush. Okay. Did he just throw a helmet at me? Or did he knock my helmet off? I think he knocked my helmet off. Uh, I've got two helmets now, though, so I'm not sure. Okay, we lost a lot of health from that. Let's use that, and let's get ready to throw this potion. Oh, did it have no effect because it has no effect, or did it have no effect because it didn't hit someone? I'm going to throw it again. Well, I missed. So we won't know. <laughs> that was not too bad. Yeah, what did we get from it? Oh, a sword. Like an actual, real-life sword. Five piercing damage. Clicking does eight. Well, I think I probably like the spear better still. It does more damage. It might be slower, but... Oh, okay. Um, electric guy. Don't like that. Let's check out what's down here. Should be some... Also, we got a bunch of stuff. Um, another helmet. What do these do? Stone is embossed with a... Okay, no idea. Bunch of short bows, bunch of daggers, bunch of arrows we got, which is good. I, uh, assumedly one of these swords or daggers or short bows could be like enchanted or something, but I don't really see the point in like checking all of them. Let's lockpick. Uh, it should be very easy, but I didn't do it. Okay, we got it. Well, we're hidden right now, so let's take an advantage. Let's take advantage of this. And snipe him. Yeah. Oh, 
easy. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. You're better than this. Oh, well, let's just kill him. He's the last one. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, he shoots. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Stop. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, I, I think we'll be fine. Got another potion. Got another ration. Let's eat a ration. We're low on health. Ration. Two of them, actually. And that looks like everything. So let's get out of here. Uh, we gotta walk around. Ah, uh, this game is uh, pretty interesting. I'm a fan. Hopefully things get a little harder, because uh, I am doing pretty good. Where's the exit? Up here, right. Wait. Oh, that's Bart. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, like, wait, we didn't. Why didn't we go there? Nah, it's Bart. I was kind of expecting to die, and then I was just gonna stop playing, um, like, for the episode when I died. But that's not happening. Um, can I go down, please? It said I I clicked no, but I really wanted to click yes. There we go. The gauntlet. Okay, this is promising. Deep Delver. Discover five levels. I gotta say, this is in, this is uh, doing a wonder for my self-confidence here. I was never good at roguelike games, and like I said, this isn't a roguelike game, but... Uh, but it's close enough that I can feel good about myself. And uh, that is actually something I, I like. I was gonna talk about that earlier. I kind of forgot about it. Okay, stop that. Um... I like that they actually called it rogue, uh, rogue light, because I mean that's what it is. I mean it's not a roguelike, and it's it's real annoying. Like roguelikes are one of my favorite genres. I really enjoy them. There, there's tons of them with like a lot of, like, uh, variety between them. Lots of interesting ideas. They're really fun to play, and they're basically all free. There's like one not free roguelike I can think of, which is Dungeons of Dreadmore, which is a pretty good game actually. I I like it. And the only other one that wasn't free at one point was Unreal World, but um, that the developer made it free. So even that, like, they're almost all free. I love the genre. But then a lot of people nowadays, um, they consider a they they'll call something like FTL a roguelike, and it's like it's just not. And it's it's sad because someone will you know like a few years ago before the whole rogue light sort of genre took off. Um, if I told someone, like, you know, my, oh, my favorite genre is roguelike, or if someone mentioned that to me, like, oh, I've been playing all these roguelikes recently, we would be on the same page. You know, I would be like, oh, what have you been playing? Like, uh, Adam, or you've been playing some Tome, maybe, or, you know, what's, some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead? That's a good one. But nowadays, it's like, oh, what have you been playing? And they'll say, like, uh, you know, Binding of Isaac. It's like, well, well, that's not a roguelike. Also, what's with all these rocks that turn out to be spiders? Oh. Whoa, oh, whoa. Okay, okay, um, this is bad. This is real bad. I'll get back to my uh, roguelike rant later. But they're not really noticing me, though. Also, my aim is terrible. Whoa, I got two at once. Okay. Oh, some of the arrows survive. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no ammo. Equip that. No, uh, uh, can I not look at my inventory when I'm moving? Yep, that is the case. Okay. Um, okay, we, we, we should be fine. Anyway. Oh, another? Luckily, these spiders aren't too hard. Okay, good. Like I was saying. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, maybe we should try the sword. Just because, I mean, these guys will still die in one hit to a sword. But we'll get, like, a wider arc on it, probably. No, I don't want... Why would I want a spear and a sword equipped? Oh. Here we go. Oh, that is nice. Okay, but it's dangerous. Real dangerous. How, did I auto-heal? Okay, sword sucks. I don't like it. I mean, like, it's, it's good when you're in a bad situation, but to use it, you also have to put yourself in a bad situation. You know what I mean? Like, it's good if you're not good. Right? Let's drink an invisibility potion so they stop following us. And then take the time to get our spear out. And eat a ration. 
Or maybe I should just use a health potion, but I'm actually out of health potions. Okay, so now things are trying to get starting to get kind of difficult. I maybe shouldn't have shouldn't have used the sword, but I needed to know how good it was. I think we'll avoid the spiders for now and go down here. Like I was saying, um, yeah, people don't know understand what a roguelike is. I, I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. What is that thing? Is that friendly? Supplies. I wish I could get in there. Okay. Now well, we have to go back to the spiders. It looks like. Unless we want to go up here. We do have a lockpick. Oh, what is that? Another ration. Okay, that's actually great. Oh, I thought there was... No, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. People don't understand what roguelikes are, and it's kind of annoying because, like, it's my favorite genre, and now I have to, like, assume... I, now I just assume, when someone mentions roguelikes that they're talking about something else. And you know, like, I don't mind, I like roguelite games too. But let's just be accurate about it. And I think it's because, like, this game... What, why I brought this up, I'm very happy that they called it a roguelite. Because I don't think anyone really would have called them out on it, except, you know, like... People like me, who are really anal about the whole thing. No one else would have really cared, though, if they had just called it a roguelike. Because it's got, basically, all the elements you could think of. I mean, like, it's... It's procedurally generated, it's... It has permadeath, it takes place in a dungeon, it's, you know, it's got all these things that people associate with, like, yeah, of course that's a roguelike, but it doesn't have the most important thing, and that's that the enemies don't move at the same time as you. Or, well, that's not the best way to describe it, but in roguelikes, um, well, for one, they're, like, grid-based, so, I mean, this kind of disqualifies itself from that already, but the most important thing is that roguelikes are when nothing moves until you move, and then everything moves at the same time. So, like, this guy, if I stopped right here, he would not attack me like that, because I'm not moving. So the whole world pauses. But while I'm moving, everything is moving at the same time. So it's not turn-based, and it's not real-time. It's like a weird combination of the two. And that's... Okay. That's the defining quality, I think. The best way to describe a roguelike. That's what makes a roguelike a roguelike. There are very few games you could call a roguelike that, um, or there's very few games that have that mechanic and could not be called a roguelike. The only ones I could think of is like a dungeon crawler, and that's because dungeon crawlers are very similar to, uh, like roguelikes if they were in first person. It, and I, when I mean, when I say dungeon crawler, that's kind of, I mean like wizardry sort of games or like uh, something like that. You know, um, what's that DS game? Etrian Odyssey is pretty pretty good example. I mean, the combat's obviously a lot different, because it's got RPG combat. Anyway, that's that's my, uh, just my point there. Okay. Okay, that works pretty well. Wait for them to jump at you, and then attack them. These spiders are, they're kind of ridiculous, though. I'm liking this game. I'm, I, I really am. I couldn't imagine how easy easy would be, though. Um, I'm just kind of running here, because these spiders, I don't know, it would have just taken forever to... Oh, okay. What is that? I don't like that. Oh, wow. Let's equip this. Let's go invisible. Go invisible. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Do I have he healing? Do I have healing? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm... Okay. I don't have any healing. I'm I stopped bleeding and I'm invisible, so I've got a bit of time to think about this. I've only got five arrows. Let's kill the spider. Let's try again. Okay. Shoot this guy. This guy is gonna be a problem. As long as we're invisible, it's not a big deal, but now we're not invisible. Let's just get a sneak attack on him. Okay. Okay, he doesn't notice us. Okay, okay, we, we did it. Okay. We're good. Um, we are so low on health. Okay, what's over here? Okay, it's clear. What's here? Locked. Lockpick? Impossible lock. Okay, I don't want to mess with that. Let's see what's... Yeah, supplies. Let's see what's over here. Locked. Lockpick? Very easy, but it locked anyway. Okay... What is left? Those aren't the stairs down, right? Up, yeah. That lever we pressed. 
there must be a key somewhere around here. I, we're very close to dying, though. Okay, let's run away, sort of lead these spiders away. Oh, also there are secret doors. Yeah, I, I need to look out for those. Okay, come at me. Okay, easy. Yeah, the problem is, secret doors, you can't just walk into it. you got to actually hit the wall, it seems like. Which is just annoying. Because uh, <laughs> this spear hits so slowly. And I'm not really... I don't really want to switch weapons just to have something faster, too. So, Okay, we're dead. Well, that... Uh, we, we did pretty well. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. That was, And we got a bunch of achievements. Long way... Oh, it takes a little picture for when you get the... Uh, for when you get it. Yeah. What are some of the other other things? Craft a necklace of orc teeth. Ooh. Brew some tea. Oh, they've got like a, a, a crafting thing. Interesting. Vampire Lord. Kill a dragon. Reach level 7 in a hard game after starting without any equipment. You can start without any equipment? You can see the first time I played, I died on the on the tutorial. Yeah, uh, it's embarrassing, but I don't know. I was messing around, still getting used to the game. Anyway, that's uh, that's an unexplored for now. I think I'll be playing some more of this. No guarantees, but I I enjoyed it, and it's definitely got a lot of replayability. So if you guys like it, tell me, and I'll probably keep playing it. And uh, even if you don't like it, I'll I might keep playing it because it's kind of fun. Um, either way. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.